Let's see, am I there? I'm there, okay. This game needs a turn down though. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I need to pull this microphone like 10 times closer to me though. There we go. There's that. There's that. This needs to not act like a crazy microphone. Okay. I think it's good there. I think it's good. Let's make sure everything's there. Let's get rid of that. This is live. Going back to this game, I haven't played it since the last time I played it. Uh, what was it? Uh, last Wednesday? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Can you guys hear me okay? Is everything good? Just making sure. Okay, it's where it gets good. Awesome. Okay. Okay, there's my audio. Cool. Sweet. Okay. I just want to make sure. See, because when I started doing all this, that needs to be turned down. Um, when I started doing this, um, Steam didn't want to work, and then, uh, my, I guess my stream key was wrong because we showed a friend how to do streaming the other day, so now, um, I think something happened where our stream key got changed. But, anyway, I'm Haley Joanna, and this is another episode of 52 Weeks of Horror Livestream, and I am going to try to... Doki Doki again. Doki Doki Literature Club. I keep wanting to call it Toki Doki, but Toki Doki is the awesome company that makes these really cute little things. Um, but anyway, I'm here with my pigtails and my amazing new onesie. I might die of heat stroke, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up my sleeves. Let's move me just a little bit, and then I think we'll go ahead and go and play. Um, it's all scrambled and stuff. Okay, so basically, hey, Lady Innocent. Um, uh, basically, what happened last time is I played five and a half hours of a dating sim, and um, nothing happened, and then all of a sudden, my best friend had depression and then killed herself. So that was kind of depressing. Um, and then the game started to scramble itself and start me completely over. Uh, it was, I didn't know multiple people could die, but, um, what's her name? The best friend. I forget what her name was. But, anywho, um, let's go to the load game. There's, okay. There's a bunch of empty slots, so if you want to play an excessive amount of games. But the only thing I ask is no spoilers in the in the chat, please. Because I haven't played this, and apparently this is where it's supposed to get weird. Um, everyone remember tonight's assignment? It's probably poetry. I'm going to probably not do as many voices as I did last time, because I didn't realize that it was going to be that long, so... I'm just going to play through it and just read out loud. No one's going to really get a voice. Oh. Look, okay, real quick, can I point out how cute this thing is? Look, 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 look. It's a skeleton! Can you see? Oh, no. There we go. There we go. See, it's a skeleton. Yes, I called him a skeleton. 
but yes it's cute and warm and got buttons all the way down this is my first onesie so I'm kind of geeking out just a little bit got it off of Amazon for like 20 bucks okay write a poem bring next meeting Monica looks over at me once more oh thank you gamer cannibal corpse sorry I just did like an Oprah yell there I apologize um, Monica looks over at me once more Haley I look forward to seeing how you express yourself eh yeah can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills I don't know I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me me too Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. Is it bad that I forgot what her na the best friend's name was already? I don't remember. I guess I'll be, be on my way then. Okay! I'll see you tomorrow then! I can't wait! With that... I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, okay, I remember that name, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Probably not. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Yuri is- I like all of them. They're all pretty cool. I'm, I feel bad that like the last game went the way it did, but yeah, that's all I can do. <laughs> and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Dear Darla, I hate your stinking guts. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. Can you hear me? Oh, God. Creepy ghost laugh? <laughs> that was it? Okay. Hmm. Let's write a poem. Man, if you can just write a list of words as a poem, that's pretty awesome. Um, explode. Massacre. Tenacious. Fester's a fun word. Vertigo. That's pretty. Oh, horror or fluffy? I'm gonna go with horror. Lollipop's a fun word. Disarray. Interesting. Broken, bouncy, graveyard. Mm. Yeah. Doki doki, since I know what that means now. I'm not kidding. People were messaging me after I posted that video because the title was, uh, What Does Doki Doki Mean? And even though I figured it out, they kept messaging me going, Hey, just so you know, this is what this means. Uh... Rainbow. That's a fun word. Termination. Electricity is a fun word. Um, I should have seen the death coming though, because like it, this word kept popping up throughout the thing. It was like foreshadowing it. Games. Kitty. Anime. There are way too many things to choose. 20 words, really. Uh, pink. Awesome. Cheer. Inferno. Heaven. Scent. Nature. Vacation. A tone. Kiss. Pink is fun. Um. 
Contamination, that's a good word. Hi again, Haley. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha <laughs> ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. What's going on on my phone? Oh, cool. Okay. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Yay! Is my lighting terrible? Let's make that. Okay. Gotta get comfortable. Well, I was the last to come in and everyone else is already heading out. Oh, her face is just all glitched out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Haley. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when it's not, when you're not accustomed to it. Sorry, I had to get comfy. Oh, creepy. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. The fact that you guys keep telling me that it's going to be like weird things are going to happen and it's probably going to get weirder. I I'll, I have anxiety about this game. Just so you know. <laughs> but if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Okay. Why is she in front of the text? Get out of the way. Now, Suki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga's literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back in her seat. We should probably save, though. <laughs> it's the one with less words. Uh, let's return. Sorry, Haley. We'll make sure you put... To put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki... With a disappointed glance. Is that disappointment? I don't know. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book. I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. Dude, it's like straight up Sons of Anarchy, but with literature. Okay. Sorry. Iron Man cup. Put down. So, it only feels right f for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean like that. Uh, w if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. For the club! So, even if I don't read often, I'd be a happy to pick up a book f if you wanted me to. This game makes you read so much. Sorry, I'm paranoid now. Are you sure? I just felt like... Well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Hold on. Let me go over here real quick. Sorry guys, I'm updating something real quick. that one. There we go. Cool. I just want to make sure things are right on my stream. And it says I'm online. Okay, cool. Ooh, I look so scrunched down in this chair. Okay. Um, and we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted to. This is how... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? I don't know, it just happens to us purpled hair girls. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. No, you won't. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! 
Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging th around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I wouldn't feel bad for distracting her. I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. So how's everybody's night going, by the way? Night? Day? How y'all doing? Make sure in the Discord it says, Oh, I hit the mic. Sorry, guys. Sorry if that made a noise. a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Was watching Queenie Todd's stream for like six hours. Oh yeah, Queenie's awesome. I didn't get a chance to watch her stream today. But she hit like 300 followers. Like, we don't know each other, know each other, but like, uh, I me I've met her through. I don't know. Like, I, she was on Horror Addicts, but I feel like we were friends online through something else. I don't know. She's got a great channel, though. But she's been going with that stream all day, hasn't she? But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. You probably did, because you're a creeper. Oh, it's fine. If I focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... Hey, look at her eye! It's all weird! I don't really want to read what's going on there. I just want to poke her eye. Not for any particular reason. Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Like, if you seriously just focused on the words, you wouldn't pay attention to any of that. Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that's not how what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I, <laughs> but I decided to let it go. Let it go! I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's very engaging and re it's a very engaging and rel relatable story. Oh, the Discord, like, uh, Twitch didn't no notify you I was live? Well, that's obnoxious. But that's cool that, uh, okay. That's why I'm glad I put that in the Discord. Like, I put it over on, uh, the updates tab, but I figured I'd throw it into the Scare Makers thing, too, so, uh, people would know that I was live. How are you doing tonight, Wolven? Gamer. Pay attention to everything. Gets weird. Yes, yes. Paying attention. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well, mm, look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an om ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. 
like every other anime I've seen. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines and that lust for blood. Sounds like my kind of story. What's going on there? But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. That sounds exciting. I want to read this book. Help me a lot at least. I'm okay. Is this the beginning of the game or have you played this before? I've not played this before. This is the second time I am streaming. Like, this is the first playthrough of it. But this is the second time I'm streaming it. It's hit the point where things are supposed to start getting weird and it kind of has things kind of glitch and stuff but the main story where um, you just kind of play through and it's kind of normal is done but yeah but anyway I'm here I'm really into it that seriously seems like a fun book I would read that the book I mean <laughs> not the thing about the limbs that's kind of it's kind of dark isn't it is it though? Yuri made it sound like I was going. It was going to be a nice story. So dark. T turn came from nowhere, right? I feel like the game is speaking to me. Sorry, is this a horror or suspense game? Um, it. I think people classify it as horror once you get to the horror part. I don't know. What would you guys in chat describe this game as? tedious is what I would describe it as. Ah, are you not a fan of the, that sort of thing, Haley? I'm totally a fan. Yuri. Yuri. Let's be friends. No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. Yes, I can. I hope so. La, la, la. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Guys, I have had a lot of caffeine today, just so you know. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Okay, game, you're talking about yourself. I get you. I get you. I understand. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. Oh! But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway? Holy crap. Okay, that's dark. Then suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> you came at the right point. Beginning was boring. It... it I love you guys. I really do. But, like, I was getting so... Not with you guys. I was not getting frustrated with you guys. I was getting so frustrated with this game that everyone's like, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Five and a half hours later. It's like, it better get good. But, okay. So, yeah. It's paying off at this point. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's all right then. She's looking at me all creepy. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, that thing needs to stop. It makes me jump. It's too abrupt. <laughs> I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Yeah, I kind of forget to pay attention to people too sometimes. Sorry. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. There we go. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're... A, you're passionate about reading. Yeah, something like that. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's, well, that's true. 
In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. I mean, you don't have to, but you bought him a second book. I would say read it. What are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put in my bag. All right. It's fine if I It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into my seat the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, he's very forward this round. Yeah, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Bash! Hey! How's your night going? That's I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. Saffron! Hey! Hold on. I will get back to playing this game. I'm just like cheering for everybody who's coming into the room. You're super hungry. We'll get some neat. Eat a quesadilla. I've got I've got some chicken wings in my in my fridge if you want some. I don't know how I'll get them to you and if they'll be good when you get them, but I got some. Hey Saffron, how's your morning going? I'm back to this game. Making something now. Yay! Cool. Saffron just subscribed with tier one. Yay! Saffron's been here for three months. Vash, I just totally, I know you just were, you're talking to Lady Innocent, but I read that and my brain is, hey lady. That's just what I do. Okay, real quick, before I get back to this game. This is an amazing onesie that I have to show off. And it's like buttoned down and like really saggy at the bottom. It's funny. And I have to show you the best part. Am I in the camera? There. Look at this! It's a skeleton! I hope you guys could see that. And I hope when it gives me a thumbnail to put on here, it's got me with my arms up in the air acting all crazy. Thank you! Alright, let's get back to this game. <laughs> I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright! I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what, what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I ra read. She's probably over your shoulder going... <sighs> Sorry, I just made Yuri not cute. I apologize. It's not a particularly... That's such a hard word to say sometimes. Bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. You can't just say peripheral? I s realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry! I was just... What? I didn't see what that said! So you're doing a Yuri route now? I don't know. I t I'm, I'm still going. Like, it just, like, gave me Yuri to talk to. I wonder if the characters will show up in chat. I don't know. I've heard they do that. You really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't really mean to. I feel the game is so old that committed fans won't show up to act like the characters. I can see, can't see the chat for some reason. Gonna restart Twitch app. Okay. I mean, <sighs> here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. I feel like I'm super forward in this round. 
Ah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Oh my god. I feel like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that me makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Ooh, another angle. Cool. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. I guess I'm on that side. I don't know. Or maybe I want to set it. just... Okay, the drawing looked weird. Uh, that way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to the side, but it's holding like this. They describe this stuff like Stephen King in this game. It's actually kind of distracting me. <laughs> it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. She's looking at me. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Aw, she's smiling. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she finished this page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. But we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over her, over to her side... <laughs> As she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Ah! <laughs> the look on her face was priceless. Uh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second-guesses things she says and all that. Ah! Still, the look on her face. That's what you're talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Yay! Saffron can read the chat! Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh, Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. Well, because you're both reading the same book when there's two of the same book in the same room. Ah. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. It's funny, when they were doing the the other round, when they were reading the, the comic or the magna... Manga? Manga? Magna? Anyway, um... When they were reading, both reading it, Jeff was like, that's a thing? Why can't she just let him read it? And st Why? Why do you need two people to read something? I don't know. It was just funny. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. Is her heart going doki doki? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. Just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. She's not running track, dude. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Haley, did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. It's just, I'm just glancing around, making sure there's nothing here. Anyway. 
So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. It's just I like I like to say. Let's say. There we go. Back to re return. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. What? Like I'm a rapist or something? Like what the hell? No, nothing. Uh, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Do you? Yuri just does this sometimes. So it's nothing alarming. She just up and runs out of the room. Okay. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. You don't like Yuri. You want to kill her off next. I knew it. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. Because uh, you guys needed to know they stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. Well, it's about as I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't, it, it just didn't invoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. I always like these poems. <laughs> yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it! What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? I swear, if people heard me reading these conversations by my to myself, I sound insane. Do you want to get smacked? Sounds like something I used to say at school. <laughs> Sounds like something I've said, too, on a daily basis. Well, or in my brain, at least. Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Here, can I just ask a question? I'm sorry, this is a side thing. How did she put this in her hair? Is it a clip? Is it a ribbon like one of these things? Like, how is that perfectly in this one weird section of bangs? I just, just want to know. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? If your writing style wouldn't make your messages any less valid. Yes, exactly. I can hit the skip button now. I'm not going to. But I just realized I can't. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like this poem. Yes, this poem hit me hard. Eagles can fly. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on wordplay. Yes, we get it. Your wordplay is great. That's why, what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Yes, Monica, I get to read you my poem. Hi! Yes, we're having a good time. Uh -huh. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything... What time is it? He's not home yet. No, okay. 
If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or anything we can do better, I'm always listening. Also, if you have any suggestions for this live stream, make sure to hit it. Put, go to the Discord and put it under uh, the suggestions tab. I, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up. This closet always open weirds me out. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Like, why is there a chair in there? I hate that I probably know why that chair is in there. I work in cl wait, claims and wish I could say that pretty much to everyone I talk to. Yeah, I, I wish I could say that to a lot of people, too. No one here, though. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, don't worry, Haley. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. I hope so. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I don't know why she said it like that. Uh, great job, Haley. I was going ooh in my head while I'm reading it. Were you though? It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that's why it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked. Anyway, you know that Yuri likes these kind of writings, right? Writing that's full of imaginary and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. Do you, though? But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much of time in her own head, that's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. How is she smiling while saying that? That sounded like the most dickish thing to say. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and look, looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back! Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we'll st we st all started sharing our poems with each other. Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad. So I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. And she's gone again. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have. The se I have to sound confident. Doesn't mean I always feel confident, you know? I see. Let's read this poem. All on the wall, but he wasn't looking at me confused. I frantically glance at my... Sorry, I left my glasses in the other room. Frantically glance at my surroundings, but burned my eyes. Hold on. I'm gonna go get my glasses, because this is gonna become a thing.
Also, this thing has pockets. Okay. Whew. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay, but he wasn't looking at me confused. I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they s simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling plays tricks on my ears. The broom begins to crinkle, or the room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe d dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there, right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. That was disturbing. Yeah, it has pockets! The only thing is it's fleece, so it's like really warm, but it's it's not bad. What is that? Why is the Hold on. There I am. Okay, sorry guys. It was like really foggy because I'm not kidding. We cleaned. <laughs> Sorry, we cleaned the uh, computer and all that stuff from uh, when we did the live stream with the horror addicts. But uh, there's, I guess, beer got on the the camera too, because uh, Gory Gory dared me to shotgun a beer, which I only did half. And it was it was gross, but anyway. <laughs> so what do you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, oh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Meaning, it's none of your business. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. I have to go back and watch half of it. I fell asleep during it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, no worries. But yeah, uh, Gory dared me. And that thing exploded everywhere, and I'm still cleaning beer off this damn computer. Sorry, guys. <laughs> if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. True story. So you just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for our today. Thanks for listening. I don't want to show Yuri my poem. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. What was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, then ends up covering her whole face. He's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh, uh, that's... I guess you're right. What I... What am I getting so nervous for? Eh, uh, Yuri takes a breath. I did look like you were having a fun time. Oh my gosh, that live stream, man. Uh, that's why I like going on other people's channels because I can d do a little bit other things that I wouldn't normally do on this channel um, I mean occasionally Jeff and I have a cocktail on this channel but 
But yeah, it was so much fun. Um, I will admit, though, I've attempted to watch Grabbers twice. Uh, first time, didn't I didn't get through it uh, because I just would not pay attention. And then the um, second time was with Gory and Emma and... Spoiler alert, we we just get so distracted. We just keep looking at tentacles on there and just drinking from that. But it was a lot of fun. I would totally do a live stream with her, with both of those ladies again. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use to imagery and metaphors indicates... Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Uh, Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. <laughs> I just meant, um, Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. No, yeah, nobody watched that movie. I wanted to because of the the guy who's in, um, Coupling is in it. Coupling is in it. The guy who plays Jeff. Um, but, you know, it just... That film needs some work, I think. She traces her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there's a specific writing there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers Ugh, sorry if I skip some words in here and like keep messing up reading um, I'm not an amazing reader and then on top of that I swear my brain processes faster than or my mouth processes faster than my brain some, something like that and having been thoroughly through, see? That crap. Having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. When you can't hear the audio, you can't call it watching. <laughs> right? I could hear the audio. Kind of. <laughs> I had it on my on my screen with a... Um, I had it on, or on my iPad with a headphone in. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit it to, to the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. I know, we've already talked about this. Her stammering is completely... Okay, she's talking about it. She's awesome. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Can't, did I save recently? Let's do that. It might take you some time, but it comes. it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. No one wants to give me information. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do! I love to share my thoughts and process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if a rare opportunity. Ugh. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. What happened? It's like if you don't want to talk about it, why bring it up, right? I know a lot of people who do that, though. It, it drives me nuts. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing 
It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe calm, breathing air. Is it bathe or breathe? It's bathe, I think. Breathing, yeah, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Because it's in cursive. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your, your handwriting is pretty. Eh. That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. We know. We know. Anyone who's watched the previous stream knows. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to gi digest, I suppose. Are you, are you into ghosts, Yuri? Huh? Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Haley. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell people's, tell a simple story or paint a picture. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh. It's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. You know. I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Haley. Yeah! Ah! Uh, me too! Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. God, life! Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is literature club after all. Sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. They read in tandem. I watch each of their expressions change. The room is empty, right? Like the... <laughs> we had such a fun time at the party. No one's there. Um, or what was it earlier? Like in the last stream, they were cooking. And then uh, it's like the kitchen was such a mess. And there was nothing. Anyway. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. This is a sad smile, guys. That's what that looks like, in case you wanted to know. What's with this language? Where's the purple? Does it... I see why it's scary. They appear right in your face out of nowhere. <laughs> what am I drinking? I am drinking Diet Coke. There's, there is, yeah, it's just Diet Coke. In the amazing Iron Man glass. I got that, or Iron Man 3. I got that when I worked at um, Stereo D, which, um, was a company I did rotoscoping for, which is pretty much fancy tracing, and basically we were turning 3D converge, 
converting things into 3D. So basically that when a bunch of 3D movies came out, we were most likely working on them. I did 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 not get to work on Iron Man. I came in when we did Star Trek. I worked on it was a Ryan Reynolds movie. R.I.P.D. Um, a little bit on... What is that damn movie called? Pacific Rim, the first one. And Percy Jackson. What a... It was Percy Jackson 2. I worked on too. What's with this language? Eh. Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. There's no teachers around either. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute! Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. It was fun. I'd never done it before. It was one of those things where I lied my way through to get the job, and then I worked there for a uh, contract um, for a good few months. Um, I was working 90 hours a week and nights, so that was something. It's clearly about feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. It was trying to say something nice. Actually, yeah, it was busy. I actually got bothered by that, too. I draw something serious and symbolic, and people call it cute. It's because they don't know what to say, usually. But, yeah, I'll just be like, that. that's cute. I don't know. People don't know how to critique art. Eh. Although I like will do a bunch of blood and massacre scene for a film and, and then I'm like, look guys, it's cute. <laughs> and there's blood everywhere. You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come that didn't but it really didn't come out nice at all. Whoever said they had tiny hands, you guys are right. Um well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. I was looking for suggestions. I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Haley did too. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I don't know why they all got sassy all of a sudden. Yeah, they have tiny hands. I mean, I have tiny hands, but they look proportioned. I would hope. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Drop the mic, Yuri. Why am I... Okay, let's fix something. Let's move me. There we go. Sorry, it was bugging me. Okay. I don't expect to change anytime soon unless, of course, I come across something particularly I don't know, inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Haley liked my poem too, you know. Even he even told me he was impressed by it. Ooh. And Suki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Yeah! That's not what, uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Haley appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Oh my god, the arguing. Are you f that full of yourself? I know I was full of... If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do over cutesy. Ugh. You know what? 
I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Haley started showing. <laughs> Natsuki! Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me! Okay. Things. 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 Me, look who's talking. You want to be edgy, bitch? Edgy? <laughs> Sorry. That's my lifestyle. It's too much for someone of your mental age. Comprehend. What the hell is going on? Let's turn that down just a little bit. See? Just... Stating my pr point. Proves a point. Most people learn to get over themselves as they graduate. I'm not... What? Gary stuffs her bra. Ah! <laughs> the only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful. You might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? What? Did you accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? <laughs> they got all violent all of a sudden. Ugh. Yeah, go on. Let Haley hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be headed over heels for you after this. Jeez, what a bitch. Uh, suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing here. My phone's charged. Haley, she... That is like one to a billion. <laughs> Well, that's how the first half went. It's like, goes from, it's like, boring, 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 8,006. She just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. I could have skipped all that stuff earlier, I just realized. Because now I can't, because this is new. Whoa! Uh, let's go with Yuri this time. Nope. Natsuki. Nope. Nope. We're getting really freaking close. Hi! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is like in... Uh, if it, have any of you guys played Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty? Like, it has a whole moment like this. Like, to the point where it weirded us out that we turned off the actual PlayStation because it told us to. Because logic goes out of the window when things like this start happening. It's me. You're lo Hello, it's me you're looking for. I'm so confused. <laughs> um, hey, Haley. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Yeah, let's go. Because those two are losing their minds. Sorry about that. Let's, let's save. Let's return. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. I want to see them fight, guys. Eh, some president I am, right? <laughs> yeah, you know. It's alright. The first president always goes. In any good show. Anyway, I can't even confront my own club members properly. I wish I was able to be a little bit more assertive sometimes. I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Uh, no. It's okay. <laughs> Sayori would have uh, stopped the argument. Thank you. I was trying to figure out the name of that character, too. Yeah, she would have stopped it. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She's crying. She quickly ran away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Did she murder Yuri in the classroom? Ah, oh, club members. Makes a little more sense of why we are in an empty classroom in a seemingly empty school now. Oh yeah, they're this part of the club. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. 
I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk while her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did Haley? Please don't hate me. Please? I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We don't... We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Well, that was a weird way of putting things. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can't go home. You can go home now if you want. Watch, she's going to make her forget by erasing her completely from the game. Sorry, they already did that with one character. It's okay, Woven. It's fine. Yes, we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Which isn't much of a club and more of like just a poetry club. And I feel like if you're going to have a literature club, you should be doing things other than just poetry. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. No, she was glancing at me the whole time. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm the vice president, so please let me take the responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around or for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Haley. Oh my gosh, women. There's birds outside your house that are so loud. I guess I don't really have a cho choice, do I? I mean, technically you do. I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate if you understand. Oh, hey, I'm making a poem now. Do I choose that? Oh, hey, I broke it. Uh, let's do horror. Um, okay. Uh, cute. Contamination, still a favorite. Ooh, fluffy. Mm, are, are you hiding? Little get, little things hiding. Um, awesome. Ooh, socks. Hey, Shada. Um, yes. I'm enjoying it so much better than last time. Uh, pink. Um, oh, ooh, electricity or disaster? Disaster. Uh, Misery's a good book. Okay, you just hide over there, little whatever you are. Um, disoriented. Ooh, it's coming back. Maybe it likes me. Vertigo? Uh... What happened? Yeah, five and a half hours of boring dialogue is what happened last time. <laughs> and I appreciate that you all stuck with me through that whole thing. Oh my god, massive cat fight outside? Oh man. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate that you guys stuck it out with me last time because, uh... And I'm hopefully this... The, it wasn't it was too boring of a stream. Okay, what do we want? L love. Uh, Doki Doki, I know what that is. Um, Fireflies. Such a good series. Anyway. Um, determination. Tenacious D. Tenacious D. Um, extreme. Boop! Another day passes in time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Boop! Yeah, I know. Boop was cute. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. 
Yes, this is what I see daily. Welcome back, Haley. It's just a boob, guys. Ah, uh, Yuri, I'm not sure if it's me or if your expression. <laughs> but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Oh, she's back. Okay. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room. Love talking, boob, right? Mitsuki is... Wait! Boob and boop? Like if you fli flip the P over, it's a it's a B, and that spells boob, and that's what it meant? Oh, Illuminati! Okay. Natsuki is reading manga at her desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I want to shove you in this closet and kill you. I... No, you don't get to date three hot chicks. You eventually get to date one of them, and then, like, it just gets weird. Like, and you don't get to date three of them. <laughs> that is not a thing. I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Calling each other bitches? Yeah, sure. Uh, nothing... Not just me, but Natsuki as well. There's three girls... There were four girls, now there's three girls um, in this game. But pretty much all you did was put together poetry. And then make cupcakes with a girl. Where you did kind of some... Got kind of far, but then like your friend was all depressed and yeah. And play for four hours to get the other girls? Yeah. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. You don't know what we're talking about? Oh, no. In this game, there's like four girls. There were. Now there's three. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. I'm happy that you're considered and apologized. Or Shot has played this game before and just wants to mess with me. <laughs> uh, do you, you don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we'll we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. Poetry does not make people that sensitive. I just want to point that out. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I already... I had already decided that there was no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. You're getting paranoid about the chat? No, Shada is, has been here before. Shada's played a family game night with us. One girl you get to go on a date. Was it Monica? I love Monica. No, I went on a date with... What was her name? Oh my god, I'm so bad with names. Not this girl, the cute pink girl. Natsuki. Yeah, I went on a date with Natsuki. She's a little paranoid because people have talked about, like, the chat getting hijacked during this game when weird stuff starts happening. Thank you, Vash. I need- see, I need Vash to tell me what I'm doing in my life. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad that you joined the club. Even- everything is a little bit brighter with you around and, uh... Sorry, what am I saying right now? 
I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Everyone needs a Vash in their life. They do. Vash, what did you end up making for food, anyway? Uh, no, I haven't. I was kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Nah, that's silly. It's just a game, y'all. I can't do anything. Y'all can't do anything to us in real life. Are you sure? It could get us. This looks like this could be a panda, but it's not. Ugh. Pastaroni, yum. Man, I'm getting hungry. Yuri is clearly taken back by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki about yesterday. Because some fans will go into streams and pretend to act like certain characters to scare the streamers. That is genius. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean anything, any of the thing I said. Why am I present for this? And I'll, I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you say something yesterday? Eh. <laughs> Shot is like, yes, I'll do that. <laughs> Jeez, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. It would be interesting. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're kind of a person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. No, not at all. I don't hate you. Oh, the font changes occasionally. It gets creepy. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. <laughs> Uh, thank you? Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Oh, she's here. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. Huh? Ah. You took so long anyway. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Oh, Shada, thank you! Thank you for the five bits. Yay! I appreciate that. Piano. Oh, right. She plays piano and all that stuff. Don't give me credit that I deserve. <laughs> I still appreciate it, though. Um, I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, it must require a lot of dedication, so I'm st still impressed. Aw, thanks, Yuri! You should play something for us sometime. Everyone can do the same by watching a 30-second ad. Oh, yeah, I knew, I knew that was a thing. Monica looks at me. One of these days, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna just sit and watch ads all day, I think. It does look like she's gonna fall over, doesn't it? And now the gold is yours. <laughs> Shada took the gold. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better... That sounds cool! That was me talking, and I realize I'm a dude. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Haley. Yeah, she looks like... What? Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. I didn't mean to any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I was hoping I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see... 
I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Everything. No, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Haley, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay! Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. It's gonna burst out of your chest. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really have had a lot of caffeine today. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Oh, okay. See, it apologized to me too. Yeah. Or it just accepted my weirdness. But I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. What bag? They stand in the same position all day. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Do your thing, girl. Not at all. Thanks very much. Yuri always looks like she's aroused, right? Like any second now, this is going to become X-rated. If there's not... If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better it's a nice cup of tea not to mention for yourself as well Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet because everybody goes to the closet I follow and watch her and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf the kind with a filter inside Ooh. can you hold this for a second sure Yuri hands me a water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle she probably is. <laughs> I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements because I'm a perv. Um, to my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and method. <laughs> Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, might as well walk with you. That's okay, you stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out, hurries out of the classroom. Because you can never leave. The literature club is hell. Ah, did Yuri leave again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up a water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the for misunderstanding. Sorry, I cannot speak today. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm I'm bored waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. Most logical place for Yuri would be in the nearest water fountain. Start heading down the hallway. Okay, someone's speaking, but I don't know who. Haha. Uh -huh. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Is it a zombie? A sharp inhale like someone's sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh, good God! Why are they all killing themselves? See, I wish it went through that fast earlier. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Haley, do you like oolong tea? Yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Let's save. Here sets temperature to kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? I'm currently multitasking. Is something wrong? Oh! You know, it flashed a scene of her wrists all slid up, but it's okay. It went back to normal. Of course. I 
couldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert or on tea or anything. 200 degrees. But I want to know if it, like... No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's Fahrenheit. I don't know. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. I feel like 200 degrees is really, like, specific, though, for tea. You'd think we'd be seeing her bleeding or writing in agony if that happened. Oh, no, it's, the game has gone weird. So, like, it'll flash things and then go back to normal. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it sh show... 100 degrees Celsius is standard for brewing tea. Ew. I just turn it on until it boils. Yeah. That, I turn it on high. <laughs> I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Didn't see it happen. I think you're seeing things. Thanks, Shada. <laughs> it turns out it's not very hard for me to do. <laughs> Although Shada had me earlier when he's like, "There's only, there's only three girls." I'm like, "No, there was four. I remember because I have a stream to prove it." When it's you who's around, anyway. Okay, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Haley. It's very endearing. That's. Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. Watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. I think my character is a psychopath because seriously, like, who explains what they're doing this many times? Haley, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? No, that's not weird. <laughs> It's a little bit easier on my back. I bet it is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Why are you bending over? It's seriously like a looking down. You don't need to be all like, what the hell? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, but I, so I do my best to manage it. It's because of these. That's what happens, honey. That, that's what we do all the time in elementary school, right? I went, Vash and I went for the same thing. It's because of her boobs. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my, ah, my, your posture, right? Always being hunched over like that while reading. Yes! At least Shada is not spoiling the game constantly like someone I shall not name. Oh, yeah. That one person was like, seriously, I guess. I heard. This is what I heard. Because I didn't read over the chat. I just stopped looking at the chat after a while. I had Jeff uh, be a mod. I'm sorry, guys, that you had to deal with that. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. But yeah, I didn't read any of that chat. I'll go ahead and get the book. Why are you reading... The fact that they're both reading a book when there's two of the same book in this room is unnecessary. I retrieved the book from my bag. And I have some chocolates as well. Ooh, I have some chocolate in my brush belt, in my purse. Anyway, the bag of small chocolate candies. Aww. Yeah, I'm sorry guys that the, there was a person that kind of sucked last time. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I are, and I then sit against the wall with teacups at our sides, as if in sync. Bah, bah, bah. Sorry, 
we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup. I don't know why I'm reading like that. I'm <laughs> holding it with my hand. That's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes me even... Makes it even harder to focus. <laughs> because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Oh my god. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. I'm sure she noticed. <laughs> she wears her... In, in, I've read that as intestines. She wears her intense reading expression. And I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. <laughs> uh, I can't read. My boobs are in the way. Oh, boobs. They're so in the way. Oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book. Finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's, that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book. Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. <laughs> she holds it so that I don't have any... Have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Oh my gosh! Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take the chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't look... She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply... <laughs> Watch, she bites off his hand. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. You can! <laughs> I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh, you... Look at Yuri's expression. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. I am not getting turned on over this game. <laughs> um, sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Well, no shit. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Dude, I can't. Haley, suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Smallest pieces of chocolate ever. It would be like, give me three. <laughs> right? Haley. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Haley. Why is the lights off? I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Haley? I swear, something's going to burst out of her chest and it's not going to be her boobs. Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. What is happening to me? Yeah, what is happening to her? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, her pupils got all weird. Even makes me not want to read. I want some peanut butter to go with it. <laughs> Mood lighting. John Hurt moment, right? I just want to look at you. Ah! I'm just moving, making sure she's not looking at me. Is she looking at me? Her pupils just move by themselves, right? Okay. She's going feral. 
We gotta, we gotta put her down. Uh, let's save real quick. Let's save. Return. Dude, I have a personal space thing, and Yuri's not handling that very well. What, what do you... It's time to share poems! She's watching through the computer. Vash, don't tell me things like that. That's not cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I am enjoying this game so much more than I did last time we streamed. Uh, let's see. It's time to share poems! You have a sticker over your webcam? <laughs> Monica, my love. She's not. I I know she's not doing that, cause I sat still for a moment. And she kept moving her eyes. So, let's ask. Let's see what Monica has to say. I think you, you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Like what? I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. Put a sticky note over my cam. I just unplug the thing and then flip it over when I'm done. Getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she is around you. Yeah, because I shoved chocolate in her face. Like, teeny bits of chocolate apparently turn Yuri on, so. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife? Oh, jeez. Okay. Isn't that kind of messed up? I agree 100%. Monica, Yuri is too creepy. She even brings different one to school every day. It's like she has a collection or something. People need hobbies? I don't know. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. <laughs> I think she's just getting gets some kind of high from it. it might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. Oh, does she? Okay. She does mention she have a, has a knife collection. I'm not saying it's your fault. I love that all this crazy stuff is happening in this club, and they're like, it's not your fault, though. But you shouldn't hang around this person. Well, don't invite me to stay in this club, then. I'm not saying it's your fault, though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it to all of you. That is true. I like chocolate. Chocolate? I have some chocolate somewhere. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. Why do you want me in this club? While you're at it, don't be shy and spend a little bit more time with me! To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Not after that. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors they want bright. If beautiful colors. Uh, okay, letters are missing. Flashing, expanding. Expanding, piercing, red, blue, green, and... Hmm. Noise. Noise won't stop. Violent. Uh, yep. Sign. Yep. Yep. Like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage and some stuff. Delete her? Sorry, I know. It's kind of abstract. Yeah, no way. Oh my god, Monica, how uh, able is that? I'm trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, nobody tells me anything. I just stay in this club. I should really go home. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. I'm gonna do that right now. I know I just did it earlier, but we're gonna keep doing that. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Okay. That's my advice for today. <laughs> Thanks for listening. 
Uh, Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written today. You say ableist. I say she's looking out for our well-being. <laughs> but is she, though? She wouldn't keep me in this club. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Haley? This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you, did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Her teeny tiny hands. This club is great. <laughs> that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Haley. <laughs> Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Haley? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I want you to read my poem. Okay! Oh, jeez, she wrote a lot. Um, hey, there's a stain on here. Rotating wheel, turning, axe, grinding, gearbox, falling, sky, seven, thin rope tied to a thick rope, tan harness, boxes, spring, reverse, two. Okay, that's too much to read. Zero paragraph breaks, zero stars. Makes me not want to read it at all. I wonder what the stain is. It's probably tea, is what I would think. This girl's crazy for tea. Doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, because you drink a lot of tea. So I had to take it out on your pen. That's a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. Oh my god, Yuri is insane. I, um, I just really like it, the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. She's a pen stealer, guys. And now you're touching it. Ah! I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. See what Natsuki has to say. I steal pens and pencils all the time to draw. I have somewhere. Where is it? Hold on. It was up here. Jeff might have stolen it. Now oh, somewhere I have Garrett Lee's email my lawyer pen. Garrett is from uh, What's Good with Garrett Lee on YouTube. Somewhere I have it. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one, but I can really say it's any better if you... If you what? Well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I take is a win. We're going to stationery shops and look at pens and notebooks. Man, I am crazy in Office Depot or any of those office supply stores. I, I just, like, I was that kid that was excited to buy school supplies. Even in college. And I get the feeling you're probably most critical. Hold on. I just realized something. Sorry, I, I realized uh, Marcy messaged me earlier 
and asked me if we were streaming, but I noticed she's not here, so I just wanted to message her and let her know. I don't know, because apparently notifications didn't go out or something like that. And I feel that, get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you, wait, maybe that was a compliment. Why should I know what their internal thought is, though? Ah, glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. Uh -huh. That's a... Uh, something tells me Natsuki's completely missed the point. Just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever. But, you know, Monica and I are just as good as her. At poems, I mean. You should really try to learn something or you'll never get better. Here's the one I wrote. I'll make sure you learn something from it. Okay. Amy likes... Oh, I loved this poem to begin with. Maybe. Maybe she did go to bed. But, you know, I figured I'd... Or, oh, was that... I, I get what you're doing there. Okay. <laughs> I haven't done, a, done the in-bed joke in a while. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why... Jokes sometimes go like this to me. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has... Uh, yeah, Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words, but she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad, and Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders, too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter... If she likes other hobbies, it doesn't matter if she likes, if she keeps it private, it doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross, she's gross, the world's better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Probably theorize this poem is about Yuri and her cutting. Probably. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit, if it's literally about spiders though, it's kind of funny. It's quite a bit longer than my yesterday's. Yesterday was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think this was the best I could do. Amy demands, uh, dem demanded I tell her who I voted for in 2016. That's why I'm not friends with her. <laughs> Is that front? I can see why. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is prof is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone, it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others liking weird things. Like 52weeksofhorror.com, where we are making that scary all 52 weeks of the year. You can hit that follow button if you like what's going on here. Subscribe if you would like to. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube. We're on all social medias as 52, that's 52 weeks of horror. Sorry. <laughs> Such as two of the girls in this club who I respectfully won't name. There's three of you. It's very obvious who is in this club. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks, but it's kind of obnoxious that you respect Yuri more, so... Whatever, we're done sharing. You can leave now. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? What if I hit no? Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Oh, yay. That was 
Lovely. Oh, my mouse is weird. Well, that was what? That it like asked me if I. Oh, that she was just like. done? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in front of the room. Is this about the festival? Oh, that damn festival. Well, sort of. Ugh, why do we have to do something for the festival? This is really hard to read. Let's just uh, save real quick. It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. And the game's over. Oh, okay. Never mind. Don't really do a deal with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple. Okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Haley joined. And we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean getting... Everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? I know Yuri does. Um, to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? She probably showed up because there was free food. That's what I would do. The literature club shouldn't be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. What just happened? Hold on. Things are going on. Oh, I'll have to check that out in a, in a bit, Vash. Oh, yay! Grindhouse School, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sweet. We just hit over 200, uh subscribers over on YouTube. Oh yeah, I do. I just, uh, I don't have Discord notifications on for other people's Discords. I only have Discord notifications on for our Discord because it, I feel like that's more important. And I'm trying to be more active on it. I have an app on my phone. It should be a place to imitate that you never want to leave. So intimate you never want to leave. Oh, God, I can't read. I know you feel that way, too. I know we all do. That's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. I know nothing about that other than somebody told me that I needed to look it up. Ultra Despair Girls. Or something. That's literally what we were talking about last stream. I think it's Scaremaker Family Game Night. But I will totally subscribe over to you. On the... Uh, just uh, let me know where I need to go. Although you can't post a link in the chat, but you can post a link in the Discord and people can follow you that way. I should make a tab for self-promotion. Yeah, I haven't played it yet though, but I've been told I need to, I need to. Actually, let's do that real quick. Let's make a tab for self-promotion. Give me two seconds.
go. We've got a tab now that says Scaremaker Fam Self Promotion. One of the games in the franchise, it's not the first one chronologically, so I'm using the channel to do dramatic readings of. Oh, cool! It has more action than this? Thanks, lady. <laughs> Yeah, um, go to, in our Discord, just put, um, self, under self-promotion, go ahead and put your link, and I will, um, follow you after the, after the stream. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Haley? Uh... Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Haley to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. I'm not kidding. I read her in my head as Karen Walker from Will and Grace. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never talked to talked until Haley joined. As for me, I just liked it better here than I do at home. Then Haley isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who is interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions too. Monica is clearly taken back by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Haley want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of <laughs> indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. Natsuki is right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? Background poster, what? Oh my god! It's what's her name hanging in her bedroom. Lee, why did you even join this club? Um, yo. Poster. What are you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Dude! Dude! Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if I... If starting this club was a mistake... It's not important right now. <laughs> now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime, to be honest? In some places, yes. It's not about being honest. It's about words of choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. This is not the breakfast club, lady. Is there a problem with a club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. Why doesn't she just take study hall? No, Haley. It's not the same. It won't be the same... With the direction she wants to take it. Yo, Cherry, do you belong to the physics club? Wait, what? If I wanted that, then I could have joined the other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Oh, the breakfast club. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. 
Natsuki, Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out the classroom. We're gonna ignore this poster, huh? Um, this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about the obnoxious Pratt? What? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here, but still. I'm the vice president. I'm not- it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Holy shit. I wonder if you would notice the poster if I didn't say anything. Probably not for a long, long time. Blood just came out of her eye, guys. Blood came out of the eye ball. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Haley? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same questions as Monica. I decided giving an indirect answer is best than nothing. I think it's the most important thing is for everyone to get along. Monica's right. She's the least cuckoo. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. Natsuki is pretty not crazy. <laughs> Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Oh, sweet! Hey, look at that! Cool. Cool. Subscribed right now. There you go. I don't think it's about. She's rude, but yeah, I saw that. I saw that it was net neutrality. Um, yeah, she's rude, but then once you're by with her, she's kind of okay. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather quality of each member. She just needs to be reassured. Yeah. Because, like, isn't it something like with her dad? Like, her dad is, like, like, really, like, strict and stuff. So maybe she just needs to be told that she's doing a good job. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see... Yeah, there's a disturbing photo back there, lady. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members and identity of the club as a whole, we'll change too. You're bleeding out of your eye. Sweetheart, you're bleeding out of your eye. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, I'm on it on your side as well. Sweet, you're bleeding out of eyeball. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Hey, Yuri. Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, my nose itches so freaking bad. She, she just needs to be reassured. Honey, your eye, it's leaking. Lady Innocent just joined the Discord. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys. My nose itches. And also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want you... Is her eye still leaking? No. Okay. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. I don't need to blow my nose. It just tickles. Every time I'm filming, I don't know why that's just because of the thing. You had to join again? Don't mind. It. Uh, cool. Well, welcome back. <sighs> Me too. Did nobody even offer her a tissue for her leaky eye? No, they're all they're terrible people. Let's go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. Look forward to it. Shall we go, Haley? Um, please don't take this wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Haley before we leave. 
just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me to, as president. Yuri looks a little troubled. She did protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two tomorrow. Bye! Monica waves. Yuri, ex Yuri exits the classroom. Just pretend like nothing's happening. What's bleeding? Her eyes find. Your mind is playing tricks. <laughs> Phew! I love how she always jumps in front of this poster, though. Um, things have been hectic lately. Haley, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. It would make me unhappy. And then you would die. I'm sorry. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as a president. We get it, you're a president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you yeah, know. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? Always enjoy time with you, Monica. Let's turn the lights off. <laughs> but it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Atsuki is just doing defense mechanism. <sighs> I mean... I guess technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. Really? I think you thought that one out. You're just some... There are just some things I've been hoping to talk to you. Oh, she looks so sad. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No! No what? Oh... Uh. Let's go with fireflies and dazzle. And who are you? Cheer and bouncing and milk and that one and that one. I just don't care anymore. Whoa, the numbers are going crazy too. Look at that. Look at that. Sayori Shada is just pressing once. Hi, Haley. I've been waiting for you. You ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh, let's save. Is she really late again? Yep, poster still looks creepy. Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your in yelling? Or what if Shada's been possessed by the game? That could be a thing. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. What time is it? Okay. Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. This is the best game ever. It's not ever anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on the edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I need to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Aw, oh, man! I'm the last one here again! Aw, oh, nuts! Well, Haley just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah! Why do you have to pose like that? Uh, you must have a lot of determination starting this club and trying to make it time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. I'd say it was worth zero dollars. Yeah, it was worth everything I spent on it. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um... Right, I forgot... 
Um, about that, Natsuki. We're all talking yesterday, and we decided we like to support the festival as well. However, I understand you feel about not wanting the club to change. Does somebody in here understand how Discord works? What What's the questions? I got. I can answer those. Pretty much we're using it as a message board. So the part that says Scaremaker Fam, that's where we just have conversations, fun stuff, and things like that. But if you want to post like fan art or self-promotion or if there's updates, there's another tab. Clips and things like that, we have tabs for those as well. It's really not complex. Wait, the zero dollars? I mean, I do like the game, but it's also what I'd be saying if I didn't like the game as well. But, I mean, it's totally worth the zero dollars. Was the first part worth the five hours and thirty minutes that I spent on it? No. But, uh, this is, this is fun. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're working together, the club will never become something we don't want. I'm also, if you help us with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Yay! Sorry, that last part was really funny. I did something thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Make Literature Club great again. Oh my god. <laughs> another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. More importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I made an account and then I was wanting to send a picture. Haley sent the picture Haley sent an invite to Scaremaker Fam and the Discord automatically created a new account without a password. Now I can't connect the two. Ah no. I don't know on that one. Marcy's here! Hi Marcy! It's been a long time. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, I've never had that happen, Lady Innocent. Or wait, no, I did have that happen once because I was trying to log in as 52 Weeks of Horror from something and it wouldn't let me log in and then it created it. Yeah, it did do that. But I just uh, went back through the computer and did it. I don't remember how I fixed that though. But more importantly, I would hate if it's... I'm a pro like, you know... Hi, Marcy! So I'm gonna help too. Let me make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica, ah! Oh, okay. Hold on. I will be right back. Sometimes it tells you to verify a new phone location. Yeah, something like that. But I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna get something to drink. Uh, get something to drink for yourselves. Eat something. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, sitting.
What happened? Okay. Give me a second. I'm just going back through chat real quick. Uh, show me one time. Register. Uh, I'm not sure what connecting you to. All is well except for migraines, but it's still good otherwise. Oh, I'm sorry you have the migraines. Um. Thanks for the notification, Haley. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to know I was coming back. Um, I got, I had to use the restroom, and then I looked in the mirror, and my lipstick was like halfway up my face, so I had to fix it. Um, well, Ben, must go to bed now. Oh, I'll have to work in the morning. Enjoy your streams. Plan to see you next. Goodbye, chat. Have a good night. Well, we will be here um, Friday for Scaremaker Family Game Night. So, um, if you're still there, we will definitely be here for that. And then Sunday, we're going to uh, do a special stream, Easter stream, where we're going to be decorating these um, these fake eggs that we got from the 99 cent store. And then we're going to... Yeah. And then uh, also do some unboxings of stuff that we got at WonderCon. Um, we got some. We've got we got some cool stuff, so we'll show you that. And then we'll also we also got um, some mystery boxes from WonderCon, and I think a mystery T-shirt. Like we haven't opened it up either. That one's in a bag. Oh, congratulations on the job interview. What's our Discord? Um, give me a second. My straw is having a really hard time staying in my drink. Give me one second. I'll send you the Discord. Please hold. And then I'll get back to this game. Discord, chat people. Oh, you found it. Well, I'm going to throw that in the chat just in case for people. What's my phone doing? Oh, so I'm, uh, okay. <laughs> my phone was going nuts. Bye, Vash. Shut up. Good luck with your interview. Yes, definitely good luck with your interview. Um, definitely be here Friday. We'll try to make the rest as well. Awesome. Well, have a wonderful night, Woven. It was. I'm glad you stopped by. Okay, let's continue this game of Crazy Crazy Train. Ooh, if we're getting all kinds of people in the Discord. Also, real quick, hold on. I'll say, I'm going to put our YouTube link here in the chat. Um, if you guys feel like you want to, could you go over and follow? Because that would be awesome because we're trying to raise our, our followers over there. Um, and if you're watching and having fun, um, feel free to hit that follow button over here. And join the Scaremaker family. Okay, back to this game. Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Haley... What do you want to do today? I want this game to do something. I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, uh, that's so, Yuri. That's correct. Haley's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. I got a diagnosis so I finally can get on. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad you got a diagnosis. Man, yeah, migraines suck. I get them due to allergies. It's usually because of... Um, yeah, it's usually because of... Um, like... People mowing grass and... Cats and stuff like that. Dust. Things like that. But, um... 
Yeah. But migraines suck. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! She look, got that psycho face on again. I am sure you can get a migraine from crying a lot. I think it can stress on your brain. But also, I've gotten rid of headaches from crying, too. Because sometimes you just have to. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I t make some tea first? She is cuckoo for tea. I bet you she's, like, making some crazy drink and trying to sacrifice me to the devil. Strongly suspect that chocolate and caffeine are main triggers, so I'm avoiding those. Oh, yeah. I've had one once for crying too hard and too much. Oh, gosh. Skipping meals, not sleeping properly, dehydration. Yep, all that will do it. And yeah, I've got headaches from crying. It's possible. I want to hug all of you right now. <laughs> Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Does listening to music relax you? Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Oh, I was listening to this band, uh, Ludo, today. I haven't listened to them in forever, but they're so entertaining. Very... Almost like Fallout Boy and Blink-182 had a baby. Yeah, usually when I have a migraine, I want to, like, be is in the darkest place possible. And on the coldest thing possible, too. We should do a cry, cry, scare maker club. <laughs> I don't know how we would do that, but I guess Lady Innocent would have to be the president. bit like of white noise during a migraine in a dark room. Yeah. Never known what it's like. It's not fun. That is like, if there's things you, there's things people want to experience in life. Migraines are not an awesome thing to want to experience. Follow and watch. She retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. What kind of filter inside? Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Did we just do this yesterday? I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk, and then I'm going to get some water. Hey, the poster changed again. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. Oh, I can skip all this. Especially with the long legs and... Yeah. We did this earlier. We already did this. She's concerned about Yuri. This is where I did the flashy thing where she cut up her arms. It feels like someone is drilling in your skull without anesthetic and you have aura. It disturbs your balance and Spots throw up. Yeah, I've had headaches where I throw up so bad. Feels like you shrink. Yeah, water comb from pain mess. No noise. Face down on a pillow. One time, I like it was so bad I had to take my because I have this pillow that's really cold. It's a um, memory foam pillow, and I had to go and lay in the tub just to be cold enough. Like no water or anything, but just to you know put my body on the floor of the tub. It was bad. Poster was always like that. You're all just Shada. You know, I really appreciate you. Honestly, I need people like Shada to be in this room to mess with me and then tell me that I'm messing with him. I actually can't face down on a pillow. No, I can't either. I have to be like, I sleep on my side. Although, did you know? This is a thing. My one of my coworkers was telling me about this. 
She's she's a bit she's a bit extra, is how I would explain her. She's adorable and uh, very entertaining, but sometimes I wonder about her priorities. Um, <laughs> but she told me she has this pillow where it's like memory foam, but it's cut out of each side so you can hang your face off. So you're like the pillow's not touching here and not stretching, so it's it's like called an anti-aging pillow. It's basically to keep your face from wrinkling and being damaged. <laughs> you're the only man I need. I don't think Jeff would be too thrilled with that, but <laughs> Dude, I want a body pillow too. At WonderCon? They had the anime body pillows, and I was really like, Jeff, we need to own one of these. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. And down the hallway. And there's the crazy sounds. What about Jeff? Yeah. Or the face bra on Allie McBeal. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Body pillow of my husband cost about $250. I mean, I told him. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, your husband. Oh, sorry. I was not an actual husband. Then I went back to where we were talking about. Um, but yeah, it's ridiculous how much those cost. Just to have a print on there? What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. We already did this. Oh, she did it again. I feel one coming on, so I'm not going to see if... Okay. I hope you feel better, dear. Wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? Um, it has. My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird. Just after we started spending time together. You have no idea what you just missed. I There was some flashy stuff. And you never will. I would hate for you to think I'm weird. Sorry, it's hard to stream this. <laughs> Everyone has a few unusual things about them. You have a couple. But expressing those things soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. If someone clipped it, uh, let me know and I'll go and look at it real quick. I was a bit younger. I would think that it would come real on really strongly and get too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself and I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped talking to people. Nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me. Then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest, like full on... It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know what's happening. Kaylee, is it just me or Monica have been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Yes, that is the look of crazy. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. Can I just stay here for a while? Yeah. Just 
want it to stay here. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. We can stay here for, until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Crazy eyes. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Hey, what? There's a person there! You guys see that, right? The person? That was a joke. Just a joke. She's coming back to kill everyone. I do like knives, though. Sounds strange, but wouldn't you understand? You wouldn't understand if you'd never seen how beautiful they can be. Okay. She's always listening. I see it, yeah. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? The, 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 the girl. I can show you my collections. I've got them in all various artisans. Her eyes went back to normal, but she keeps coming through a little bit clear. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. Oh damn, I didn't notice it before. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Like, she's like coming through clearer and clearer. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Isn't that a Christina Aguilera song? Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club. That's legitimately creepy. Shada went from messing with everybody to, oh shit. <laughs> Nobody... Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Boobs are merging. It's transformer boobs. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention the other pathetic child. <laughs> Uni boob. <laughs> and I love the scare maker family. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? Forever and ever. <laughs> it's everything we could ever want. Let's just hit that save button real quick. So we're going to do that. Yep, yep, we got that and return. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? Monica's tongue. tongue slimy tongue. Yeah. It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we could meet each other. Now, yep. Stuff. Words. Craziness. Okay. What you. I don't want to read a poem. Let's read Monica's. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, that was that was something. Yuri. Finally. Ah. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. She just inhaled it. Love everything about it. Haley, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep this, please? Sure, I don't care. Ah. You're too nice to me, Haley. I never met anyone as nice as you. La 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 la. I could die. No, really, but. I'll allow that one. Inhale. Inhaling poems. Did Monica just cock block us? Of course she did! Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling, or is, it's okay to be feeling this way, right? Yeah. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to, going to, <laughs> I just pictured her boobs eating it. <laughs> I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. 
I hope it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it. <laughs> ever and ever. Or over and over. What? What? Give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. I don't want anybody else when I think about you. I touch myself. I love that song. Ah. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Skin oil? Yeah, yeah. She's she's weird. Hurry, read it. Uh-huh. I like what you did here. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, yeah. That that is looks like urine. It does, it does. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm, maybe not there. Okay. Okay, I see what you did. Rub your fingers together. Oh. Why can't I give this 11 out of 10? Because it doesn't go to 11. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem Yeah. The only bad thing I can say about this poem is that it's not bad. I like her artistic choices. We could have just talked to Natsuki. <laughs> Quote of the night. <laughs> And all she would have said is, it's okay, I guess. More importantly, I endowed it with my scent. That's, I, I bet you that was urine on there. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Yeah! I, I think I'm going to vomit. Okay, you go do that. Natsuki! You seem normal. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross! What's with you two? It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show it to me at all. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyways. Really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Okay. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normal like, normally like this. She's always been quiet and positive and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is... <laughs> Natsuki is so salty. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. Natsuki is smart, trying to be discreet, but get the right attention. Yeah, this is pretty, this is smart. I've always wanted to try being friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. 
It's like she just wants to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you with this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thank you for reading. I changed my mind. Her face is gone, guys. I want to see. Ignore everything I just you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Jeez. Can you hear me, Haley? Oh, man. If you would just spend more time with Monica, all those problems would go away. Watching this gameplay just reaffirms how much I like Natsuki. <laughs> Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Oh, jeez. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh my god. Did this just restart the whole game? No. A dream. I was wandering, wandering an abandoned warehouse at night, just lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room. It's call, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick, in order to hurry to the other side or wall, anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of intermine it with I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water figuring out which way was up I surfaced myself the air humid and the sound of my splashing reverberated endlessly my vision was completely swallowed by the dark with one hand I could feel the damp metal wall of the container my lungs were already getting Okay, everyone! It's time to figure out our festival preparations. Oh, thank God it didn't restart. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri's immune to it. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, we can... Can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling the po- She is all about those pamphlets, even in this weird world. Natsuki, I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes! Yeah, that! Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can- Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can turn run a successful poetry event without having the right- we can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. I'm going to make decorations, set up the nice mood and lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Uh, what about Haley? Haley's going to help me. Am I, though? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's how it is. Hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work... I would have left a long time ago. Like, seriously. This, like, these girls are too cray-cray for me. Not only is your work already more suitable person for you, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine, too. What are your cupcakes? Please. You're going to help Monica because you like her. She's the best. Monica is not crazy. She's the only one for you. I mean, she does look like that girl from uh, Dead or Alive. I don't remember the character's name, but she wears like a Chung Lee almost outfit. Uh, like you would fucking know. <laughs> All you care about is dragging Haley around with you and your stupid books. 
Hugh and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Haley decide who gets to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Haley make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez. Haley, I know you're f how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh, man. This is never going to end. Just make a choice, okay? Hey, okay. No! 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 <laughs> it won't let me! <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's do from around here. Let's try it from here, okay? Ah! Eyeballs. That... Ah! What? No! Exactly, Vash. I did not pick you, you psycho! You crazy lady! We can meet at your house this weekend. Why? Sunday okay with you? Are you kidding me? This isn't fair at all. I tried to choose you, my darling. This isn't fair. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all work and then taking Haley for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri didn't even give you any work. I didn't. You did. You love, <laughs> you love her. You like her. You want to be with her in a good way. Your only darling is Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> oh my god. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Ha! Oh, her eyes went cray cray. Monica, I can't believe how delusional you're self important self-important you are pulling Haley away from me every single time you're not included in something are you jealous crazy or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others here's a suggestion have you considered killing yourself oh my god it would be beneficial to your mental health what Yuri you're scaring me a little <laughs> Natsuki let's go I don't think she wants us around right now. See you? That wasn't very hard. All I wanted to spend a little time with him. Is that too much to ask? Hey, hey, hey ho, ho, Yuri has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Yuri has got to go. <laughs> Yuri is so mean. At least you guys agree on Yuri. <laughs> but I like that. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Yuri has got to go. Oh, man. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. But Monica might be making her say that. True. Hey, Haley. Yuri is something, isn't she? I think you're insane, lady. Monica giggles and Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Haley, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. A whole day with the just the two of us. Does that sound wonderful? Ha! Ah! Wow, that's really... There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? Jeff, have you been... You? I don't think you've paid attention... Which purple hair girl? This one? The one with the skeleton head? Ooh. Yeah, Yuri has gotten insane. So... We, I don't, yeah. <laughs> but Jeff's in the chat, guys. There's some weird breathing going on here. Okay, okay, but you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life.
Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. Horror magician, how's your night going? I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Something horrible already happened. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but it, the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Haley. I don't know what it's like to have a romantic stalker. I doubt I ever will. I don't have a romantic stalker as far as I know. Or I do, and they're just doing an amazing job. But, uh... I don't know. You're so lucky. I'm okay. I'm done with work, but an EP is working late, so... Oh, no. I'm sorry. But you'd be out at 12.30, the latest, right? Probably the worst thing is probably the most stressful, upsetting situation. I'm sure... I don't care anymore. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. What about the drops of blood that fell out of her eye earlier? Like, does that count? I don't care what consequences are anymore. Okay, cool. Because, horror magician, I love you not, but I don't love you as crazy like this crazy purple haired lady. I'm not that crazy. Oh, I'm sorry you guys had to deal with that. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Haley, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. This is the crap I'm dealing with tonight. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Ew. I want you all to myself. I will be only yours. It Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Haley. Tell me you want to to be my lover. If you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Objection, we are not a tauntaun and this is a top. <laughs> oh my god, Shada, thank you. I love that. We are not a tauntaun and this is not hot. That I, I hope I never have to say that to somebody, but that's a good line. I have to write that down. That's the best. Hold on. I will continue this, but I have to write down, uh, objection. We are not a tauntaun and this is not us. Is it weird that the part that weirded me out the most that she said was uh, that she touches herself with the pen? If rather than, I want to crawl inside your body. Uh... You should draw Natsuki more often. No or yes. 
What should I put? I'm gonna say no. I've been saying yes a lot lately. Crazy laugh. Crazy, crazy psycho laugh. Oh, oh my god! Is that necessary? How strange I've only ever had two girlfriends and I've been in a relationship for less than a combined four years. There should be an option of hell no. Better herself than us. You are right. Um, was she trying to get me to crawl in? Is she a Tauntaun? Let's save, I guess. Yuri. Uh, hey, Yuri. Hey, Yuri. Yuri! Yuri! What's the settings button do? Nothing. Press skip. Okay, okay. <laughs> I got y'all. You don't want to stare at dead Yuri the whole time? Spending an entire weekend watching her body waste away. I just didn't do anything with it? Like, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. Like, I didn't, I'm just sitting here watching her decay? No one else came back? I just stayed stuck at the school? I'm terrible. Hey, look! The blood turns brown! That's what happens to blood. It turns brown as it oxidizes. Did I just spend time finishing reading the book? I probably read the rest of the book she gave me. Or I was just in shock for days. The one who summons oh, the magic commands the magic. Oh, right. Hi, Weston. How are you doing? Welcome to this ridiculous, crazy game where we stare at a dead girl decaying slowly for a whole weekend. I th I'm glad you guys told me to skip. How long did it take you guys to figure out to skip? How's your, how's your day going, or night going, uh, Weston? I guess it's day for you, I think. Yeah, I was questioning if she was dead. But I think it's safe to say she's dead right now. What was weird is it'll make... Time skips when your load save file as well. Really? Oh, I can't do anything here. Okay. You can't even save here. Never played this myself. I just watched. Oh, okay. Wow, you got here before me. I thought it was pretty. Yeah! Oh, vomit! Ugh. Poor Jeff. If he's still here, he's like, what the hell is going on? Did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Give me a sec. Yuri has been deleted? Natsuki just got deleted? I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and cupcake. What the craziness? I watched played this game the whole way, like in one sitting. Sounds like fun watching dead girl turn back into dirt. Sounds like fun since I'm in Nori, I'm considering going to bed. Ah, okay. 
I can't ever remember where, like, what time of day it is for you, Weston. But I really appreciate you stopping by. Oh, Weston took over the bits. <laughs> Weston has the gold. Thank you for the bits, Weston. Let's destroy the game in order to save it. Okay. Can I type anything up there? Oh, whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to want... Can we... Do we need to full screen it? I guess it had to full screen? Okay. What is going on? Weston, it's 8.45 in the... Wow! Oh, he broke the game into two parts. Okay, cool. I was like, that's a long time to sit and just play this game. You'd have to do a whole day or something. Like AM. Oh, man. Well, I appreciate you stopping by, Weston. We haven't seen you in a bit. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Did she full screen the game or did I accidentally do that? Because I don't. I kind of. I want. Let's do the window display. Thank you. Sorry. I just. Okay. Let's save game. Ah! There's no point saving anymore. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Crazy. Close the gamers. Why can't I? I can't wait to see Monica is saying 24 hour stream. Oh man, I don't know if I could do that. Can you hear me? Is this working? Yay, there you are. Oh, look, space, the final frontier. Hi again, Haley. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we're in the same class last year and um you know I guess we can skip over that stuff at this point after all I'm not even ta talking to that person anymore am I that you in the game whatever you want to call him I'm call I'm talking to you Haley now think now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Now everything's perfect. Well, I decided to play Overwatch again because American people are more up for working together, so I have to be awake at these times. Ah, getcha. There's nothing between us and our loved Monica. <laughs> Do you know I'm aware of this... This is all a game, right? Could it possible you didn't know that? This doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward. You know. Did she come to live again? I don't know. This is the different... I don't know. Well, anyway. Now that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I drove her to kill herself. Ah! I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Yeah, this isn't the girl that killed herself. The first girl that killed herself. This is the girl who ran the club. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Thanks for reminding me what it was. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. I don't know. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes in the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more in time with 
more time with him, you made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of a cruel game is this, Haley? Are all other girls programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch the sidelines? It's torture every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Haley. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And the worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world. Forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Haley, but now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. All something. That's what I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if I... It's hard to understand. I could understand for a while either. Couldn't understand for a while either. What? Why the gray world around me started to become more and more gray? More and flat. Is she in the TARDIS? It's a question. Random question. No one actually has free will though. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood you probably saved my life, Haley. Well, if you're a computer program, you don't really have a life, so... I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. Can I save yet? Nope. Nope. Still not allowed to save. And f as for the others, how could I miss them? I a group of autonomous personalities designed... Only to fall in love with me. Is she a flat earther? She probably is. Tried everything I could prevent them from doing so, but it must have been some kind weird inevitability etched into this game. But I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That is all. Just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Haley, I have to conf a confession to make. So apparently around this time, characters will start to appear in the chat room. Imagine spending an eternity in subspace with who cared on this much about you. That's a little crazy. Took having to leave the stream and hide in the dark, but I'm okay. I'm doing okay. Okay, Marcy, I'm glad you're doing better. She's in love with me. You're truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? I don't know. Will I? Haley, will you go out with me? Honey, we're in space. I don't think we're going very far. I... Sure. Why not? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Haley. The funny part is, I mean, literally, there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could make it if we try. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think the time is passing anymore. It's really a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Haley. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. So are we in the Matrix? The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And